Ethiopian leader Haile Selassie told the UN General Assembly in 1963, Throughout history, it has been the inaction of those who could have acted, the indifference of those who should have known better, the silence of the voice of justice when it mattered most, that has made possible for evil to triumph. The genocide against the Tutsi in Rwanda is testament not just to the greed, political expediency and pathological hatred of a group of perpetrators, but to the inaction, indifference and silence by the international community. Genocide is not like a virus that blindly strikes anyone and everyone. The perpetrators of genocide targeted a specific group with the aim of eradicating them. 152 nations have ratified the Convention on the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide. Yet, having failed to prevent it, too many countries have allowed the killers a safe retirement. We know who these genocidaires are. We know what they have done. We know mostly where they live. But despite having laws to bring them to justice, they remain free to mock their victims and promote denial because besides being killers, they are also cowards seeking to hide their repulsive crimes and their responsibility. Felician Kabuga, Augustin Bizimana, Protez Piranha and hundreds of others in France, Belgium, South Africa, the UK, Italy and other countries all remain free. All have benefited from global inaction, indifference and silence. A commemoration is about remembrance. We remember the dead and those who mourn. We remember the suffering and pain. The lives young and old ended early, just because they were Tutsi. We also remember the pressing need for justice. We remember the killers who live openly among us because our governments refuse to act. We will not stop campaigning for them to stand trial. We undertake on this 26th commemoration to continue to fight in action, indifference and silence. And together, let's get justice done.